वेलकम टू यू ऑल बी एस सी थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट आर्टिकल फॉर आवर सिलेबस कल्चर ऑफ मिल्क फिश दैट इज चैनोज चैनोज अप टू हेयर वी हेव सी टू इम्पॉर्टेंट स्पेसीज विच इज टू बी कल्चर टू इम्पॉर्टेंट फिशेज दीज आर टू बी कल्चर वन इज द कल्चर ऑफ इंडियन मेजर कार्प्स सेकेंड इज इम्पॉर्टेंट कल्चर ऑफ एयर ब्रीदिंग फिशेज और द एसेसरी रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन फिशेज देन थर्ड इम्पॉर्टेंट स्पेसीज दैट इज कल्चर ऑफ मिल्क फिश और कल्चर ऑफ चैनोज चैनोज इट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट मोस्ट नोटेबल एंड यूजफुल कमर्शियल स्पीश स्पेसीज विच इज टू बी कल्चर्ड इन आवर इंडियन रीजन इन आवर इंडियन पेनिसुला दैट्स वाई दिस कल्चर ऑफ मिल्क फिश और द कल्चर ऑफ चानोज चानोज इज टू बी डन इट इज टू बी इम्पॉर्टेंट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ दिस मिल्क फिश कल्चर दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन द मिल्क फिश दैट इज चानोज चानोज इज इम्पॉर्टेंट कमर्शियल एंड मोस्ट नोटेबली स्पेसीज कल्चर इन आवर इंडियन वॉटर्स इन आन इंडियन रीजन्स द चानोज चानोज बिलोंग टू द ऑर्डर कुलपी फॉर्मिस अलॉन्ग विथ हेरिंग सारडाइन्स एंड एंकोविज विथ धीस सारडाइन्स एंकोविज एंड हेरिंग्स विथ धीस स्पेसीज धीस मिल्क फिश दीज आर टू बी कंबाइनली कल फाउंड अमंग धीस चानोज चानोज इट इज फाउंड इन द ट्रॉपिकल एंड सेमी ट्रॉपिकल कोस्टल वॉटर्स ऑफ इंडियन ओशंस it is to be found in that is tropical and semi tropical coastal waters of the indian ocean it is distributed along the east coast and west coast of india it tolerate wide fluctuations of salinity of near about 0.0 to 40 part per 1000 40 part per 1000 that is this species these are the uri haline species uri haline species to tolerate the wide range of fluctuations of salt content or the salinity hence this is the important commercial and tolerated cultured or it is to be found in all coastal waters of india east coast as well as the west coast that's why this species these are to be important it is to be most useful this species these are to be suitable for cultivation in fresh as well as a brackish waters these are one of the important fish species used in fish culture in various water bodies such as ponds lakes reservoirs tributaries and lagoons means in lagoons tributaries reservoirs ponds lake in these water bodies this milk fish or the channo channo is to be importantly cultured it is to be abundantly cultured to increase the fish production in indian regions this species is very suitable and compatible to increase the fish production of india to increase the fish production of commercial fishermen or the fish culturists this species this is it is to be suitable and compatible for the culture of these channo channo this is cultured in everywhere for good fish production and earn best income for fish culturists and fish farmers for the fish culturists and fish farmers this channo channo is important and commercial to support the economy to support the culture system that's why this milk fish it is the <coughs> most useful most commercial and notable group generally we have know that among all culturable species generally among those fishes these are to be cultured among these or in these species this fish is most hardy and resistant or disease free no any pathogens no any parasite these are to be attack on this species that's why this fish these are to be important these are to be culture for the fish farmers or the fish culturist to support the economy to increase the economy then next point of the these channo channos 
or the milkfish culture. Systematic position of the channel channels or the classification of the milkfish. What is the classification of the milkfish? We have again well known that is phylum chordata due to the fundamental chordate character these are to be found hence it is the phylum chordata subphylum vertebrata we all know that that is vertebral column is to be present hence it is to be vertebrata series pisces pisces are the fish aquatic cold blooded respire with the help of gills and fins with the help of fins swims with the help of fins that's why it is to be called as pisces class teleostomy that is perfect mouthed fishes upper jaw and lower jaw these are to be completely supported order culpi formis order culpi formis that is four pairs of barbels these are to be present four pairs of barbels these are to be present presence of adipose fin or absence of adipose fin due to this that is order is the culpi formis family chenidae family chenidae genus channos and species channos channos this is the systematic position or classification of the that is milkfish channels channels see this is the fish channels channels are the milkfish the figure is to be most notable most gregarious and most interesting fish these are to be found these are to be occur in both east coast as well as the west coast of india among these both coast this species these are to be found these are to be occur that is the milkfish or channos channos then general character of this channos channos which are the general character which are the general character of this species the first channos channos is commonly called as milkfish the first point of this channos channos is commonly it is to be called as milkfish it is most important cultivable or culturable and commercial fish species these are to be occur in both east and west coast of india it is also useful culturable nutritive food fish cultured in fresh water as well as the brackish waters of india in both fresh water as well as brackish water it is to be cultured it is to be growing it is generally found on both east coast and west coast in natural condition in natural condition it is to be found in both east coast as well as west coast of india that is from west coast arabian sea up to the east coast that is bay of bengal this species these are to be found these are to be naturally occur the general important body character body of channo channo is elongated compressed with small cycloid scale these are to be covering body of channo channo is to be elongated compressed with small cycloid scale these are to be covered all over the body this is the first important general character of the body character of the channos channos mouth is relatively small anterior and transverse in position and jaws and palate without teeth mouth these are to be relatively small mouth these are to be relative anterior and transverse in position and jaws and palate in both jaws and palate teeth these are to be absent or teeth these are to be not found in the jaws then next point upper jaw overhanging on the lower jaw and upper jaw formed of only premaxillaries which are scale like or splint like structure upper jaw is to be that is overhanging on the lower jaw and in the upper jaw these are to be only premaxillaries which is to be found these premaxillaries these are to be scale like structure or these are to be splint like structure these are to be found these are to be occur another character of this fish pectoral fin is pointed with elongated scaly appendages at the base at the base of the pectoral fin scaly appendages these are to be found and this pectoral fin these are to be pointed with scaly appendages this is the another important general character of the clarier that is the general character of the channos channos then caudal fin is well developed and lobes are pointed with large caudal fin is to be we have seen in, in figure the caudal fin is to be well developed the caudal fin is to be well developed lobes are pointed and lobes are large lobes these are to be occur these are to be found 
next character dorsal fin commences on above the dorsal side opposite to the pelvic fin dorsal fin is to be commences on the above the dorsal side opposite to the pelvic fins eyes are large with eyelids and a suprabranchial organ or epibranchial organ is present on the eye region on the eye part that is eyes are large with eyelids and a suprabranchial organ or epibranchial organ these are to be present these are to be found first three vertebrae these are to be specialized and associated with cephalic ribs first three vertebrae these are to be specialized and associated with the cephalic ribs color of the body of channo channo is bright silvery color of the body of the channo channo is to be bright silvery greenish along back and metallic greenish blue on the top of the head what is the color of the body color of the body is to be bright silvery bright silvery greenish along the back side along the back side the color of the body is to be greenish and metallic greenish blue on the top of the head on the top of the head it is to be metallic greenish color these are to be occur it is capable of tolerating wide variations in salinity water and temperature hence it is urihaline and urethermal species it is the urihaline and urethermal species these are to be found these are to be occur this species is almost resistant to all diseases hence it is perform our fish culture for the culture of condition this species these are to be cultured this species these are to be perform for the culture practices that is why it is to be resistant to that is urethermalized like the that is it is to be urethermalized urihaline means both for salinity and temperature these are to be more tolerant it is the a disease free species no any parasite no any pathogen these are to be attack on the species and this species these are to be most most resistant to all diseases hence it is to be prefer preferred for the culture purpose for the culture practice